1955, Operation Deep Freeze. This is just an expansion of High Jump, where more research bases are added to Antarctica. Fast forward a little more, 1958. NASA is established. Dr. Werner von Braun. A voyage around the moon was... two phases. A rocket ship taking off from the Earth's surface will use almost all the fuel it can carry just to attain a speed great enough to balance the pull of gravity. To facilitate this refueling operation, we will establish an advanced base in the orbit, a thousand miles above the Earth. This advanced base, or space station, followed by the proposal of the Antarctic Treaty in 1959, and the implementation of it in 1961. The treaty basically puts Antarctica off limits to civilians with the exception of guided tours that are carefully supervised. In 1962, Operation Fishbowl takes place. Now this is where people start thinking that they found the firmament or dome during Operation High Jump or Operation Deep Freeze because for some reason they started firing nuclear missiles straight up as if trying to mess with the firmament somehow. Although we weren't able to shatter that Ohio's hardest glass ceiling this time, thanks to you, it's got about 18 million tracks in it. These shots were collectively called Operation Fishbowl. So what happened was the government, when they started making missiles that were powerful enough that they thought they could break through the sea of glass, they, during the Cold War, used the Cold War as a tactic for exploding high-altitude missiles to try and break through what they already knew was the dome on the Earth. They even called it Operation Fishbowl. Does that mean- And not to mention the name of the project, Fishbowl. Easily symbolic for the enclosed nature of our world. Some cultures claimed a firm barrier existed through which no human could penetrate.